Howdy everyone. Welcome back to Replicas of the Past. This is Phil. In this video, we'll take a quick look at this here tractor. First, I want to thank Mike Stockdale or on YouTube at Miniature Farmer. I uh, bought two Olivers off of him, this Oliver 1555 and an Oliver 1655. And I decided to customize. I was originally customizing the 1655 and <laughs> I accidentally broke the spindle that comes off the uh, axle that I held on the tire off of it. Um, so I thought, well, I'll just uh, work out the uh, 1555 then. So I took the tractor out of its box and uh, decided to uh, improve it a little bit. Here is the box for that original 1555. Very classic old looking Ertl box, all of her colors. That's pretty cool. There's the series I guess they had back then, the 1555 narrow front, a 1555 uh, short axle or a inward axle. I'll, I, I'll be asking about that in my review here. A 1655 two wheel drive and a 1655 four wheel drive with a canopy. And the tractor, 1993. All right. We'll go move on to the star of the show to Oliver 1555 Custom. All right, everybody, I'm back. And here is my Ertl 116 scale. Oliver 1555 Customized by me. Um, of course, as you could see in the picture, I showed that tractor had the single wheels which was the actually the inner wheels on this tractor and i bet i dueled it up and i uh, took off the original front tire which was this little old tiny plastic tire and put on a bigger as you can see bigger uh rubber three rib tire or a traditional very traditional spec cast type style tire the real tractor, the Oliver 1555, was produced by uh, Oliver between 1969 through 75. Tractor was tested PTO horsepower 53.5, drawbar tested 45.7. Really classic looking Oliver in the 55 series. Um, one question, I don't know this. That's why I'm asking. In the 55 series, was this the low one, the 1555, or was there one smaller? I I feel like this was the smallest one because they had this, the 16, the 17, an 18, a 19. And was there a 2155? I know there was a 2255. So uh, if anybody knows that, um, probably Mike would know that. Um, let me know. Pretty classic looking old Oliver here. Um, it's the rear end here area is all out straight out of the box from Ertl. No, no additions. I did on the back of the fenders remove the sticker decal lights and I put in Dakota style from Dakota Farm Toys. I put in the uh, glued in the brake lights. And then on top of the fender, I attached a uh, work light and a flasher light. The driver station area is straight out of the box. Uh, most of it's all casting. And then the dashboard there is uh, decal. But you got your clover white seat, Oliver uh, Meadow Green um, steering wheel. No, black steering wheel. I'm sorry. At the angle I was looking at it looked like it was the green. Your hood there. Classic 55 style hood. Of course, I did remove the muffler. It was a little plastic, little or plastic muffler and put on a really tall muddle muffler. <laughs> Super tall. I was like, maybe I put on too tall of a muffler, but that's all right. That's a metal muffler. You got your little intake there. Your uh, decaling is on, on the side of the tractor. This one actually says white Oliver. 1555 is more back toward the driver's station. Oliver white is over top the engine area. On the decals the engine uh, casting there isn't too bad for 30 years ago basically 
this is 2023 20, and this was 93 so it's not it's not terrible I did add on the front here a uh, weight bar and a set of weights painted the weight bar Oliver meadow green and the weights of the clover white those are from uh, Dakota farm toys as well if I'm not mistaken here's the underneath of the tractor The tires and wheels are all now, there's six around, and they are all rubber. These are the, like I said, the original, the inners are the original tires that were on the tractor. And I took the ones off the 1655 and put them on the outer for duels. I actually like the look of, and the outer tire here was plastic. I actually like the look of this plastic tire than the, than the inner metal one, to be honest. But it's a classic girdle. Uh, tires and wheels there your front is the same the bigger bigger three rib compared to that little skinny plastic three rivet hat on it and the front wheels a uh, plastic and I actually glued on the wheels because I uh, as you can see that that little plastic wheel on there the spindle that came off doesn't even go all the way quite through so I just decided I'll just glue them on it's not a big deal to me it's a pretty neat little replica here, classic Oliver. And my axle, rear axle there, as you can see, is just a threaded rod. And I put some uh, nuts on it, not lock nuts. Uh, I might take it back apart and paint these ends, the metal green, and then put them back on. But uh, other than that, I'm pretty well done with the uh, tractor. My muffler got crooked. It's still loose. It just fits in there a little snug. All right, I'll do a quick comparison and let's uh, move on to that now. All right, here is my Oliver 1555 by Ertl, uh customized alongside my Oliver 1755 by Speccast with the cab. The Speccast right there has a lot more detailing on it than the Ertl, in my opinion. Of course, the spec cast has only been out like probably two, three, four years. Um, but for what the money when they get it released, these spec cast, if anybody don't have any, I would urge you to watch my videos on my channel and my archives. They really have nice details for the money that you pay for them. All right, I'll move on to some quick final thoughts. Let's do that now. All right, Earl 116 scale Oliver 1555. Took it out of the box, decided to go and do some customizing between the two and ended up doing the 1555 because I broke the spindle off the 1655, which was actually this one I had, like I showed in the picture earlier. This is a classic old looking Oliver, really nice, really cool, really, uh, really, really, really a lot of history in the tractor. It's pretty cool nonetheless. All right, everybody, I want to thank everybody that tunes into my channel. I'll be going into two more videos straight away. This is Phil for Replicas of the Plast. Y'all have a blessed day. We'll talk again soon.